What's poppin' beautiful people? It's your girl Rejoice Odagi back again with yet another power-packed episode of your number one entertainment recap show, Vibes. Now let's get into it. We open this week's trends on a high note, guys. So the year gifted Tiwa Savage with some notable milestones, which includes her Tiny Desk concert with NPR, which was widely appreciated, as well as a lot of appearances in the international media. But what got fans' attention this week was the post on Instagram about her newest body of work, Celia. <laughs> getting a nod from Time Magazine as one of the 10 best albums of 2020. However, the songstress revealed that a review by her own people called it otherwise. This comes after Tiwa Savage said she was no longer going to grant any Nigerian media interviews anymore. Well, good luck to her. And in more music milestone news, Whiskey's Made in Lagos has made The Guardian UK's top 50 best albums of 2020. This makes the critically acclaimed album the only African album to make it to the list. Former Nigerian international and West Bromwich Albion forward took to his Instagram page to lambast Peter Okoye, popularly known in the music circle as Mr. P, for trying to take Christmas away from innocent Nigerians with his dance challenge after already allegedly stealing from them with his Zoom call business. Reacting to the allegation, Peter on his Instagram story shared an old photo of them together and called for prayers for Dewingi, adding that all is not well with the ex Super Eagle striker. The Milkmaid is Nigeria's official submission for the 93rd Academy Awards in the International Feature Film category of the Oscars. The house language based thriller mainly explores the theme of insurgency, especially as it affects women and children in sub Saharan Africa. Inspired by the image of Nigeria's 10 Naira note, the film tells the story of a Fulani milkmaid who confronts extremists in a rural African community in a quest to locate her missing sister. Over to some feel good news. Davido announced this week that his driver is getting married. But that's not a gist, guys. He's actually going to be his best man. Guys, there's a reason why his fandom just goes all in for this guy. And trust me, we all want to be Davido's driver at this point. <laughs> Still speaking of marriages, is billionaire businessman Ned Nwoko about to wife another woman just about a year after getting married to his sixth wife, Regina Daniels? Well, there's been rumors that another wife is on the way, and although we can't really say for sure at this point, Mr. Nwoko this week responded to rumors by stating that he's capable of marrying another wife, and all his wives are aware of this. He further stated that he married Daniels three weeks after they met, as well as his other wives. According to him, you don't date to marry, but marry and then begin to fall in love within the marriage. This quickly sparked conversations across social media that saw Mr. Ned and Regina topping the trends. Well, if they're all happy, what can we really say? We can only wish them the best. Over to our music spotlight for the week and in what is a cinematic experience, David O has now dropped the visuals for his hit song, Joe Wall. Starring veteran actor RMD and BB Niger's Nengi, the music video offers a Mr. and Mrs. Smith type of vibe that we're loving right now, but we're not going to tell you all about it, so if you haven't already, go watch and see for yourself. Meanwhile, we have some more songs for you to add to your playlist this week. Mayo Queen is out with his new single titled, Your Body. Flavor has also dropped an album called Flavor of Africa. Files on the other hand, has teamed up with Niniola for Squander, Rema is giving us some peace of mind, Kwesi Arthur and Joe Boy for Bajo, and finally, after a while away from the spotlight, Niniola is back with a brand new single titled Olu Morotti. Over to movies, Netflix has announced that it is cancelling its first African original series, Queen Sono, despite previously renewing it for season two. The renewal was cancelled due to production challenges brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. 
And finally, the highly anticipated nomination list for the 2020 Africa Movie Academy Awards is here, guys. The 16th edition of the AMA is scheduled for December 20, 2020, virtually. Nigeria's The Milkmaid, directed by Desmond Ohiagele, scored eight nominations, and Aki Omoto Shows The Ghost and the House of Truth scored seven nominations, followed by Ramsey Noah's Living in Bondage Breaking Free and Damilola Orimo Gunjez for Maria Ebun Pataki. And that's all we have for you on this week's episode of the show. I hope you loved every bit of it as much as I did. Please feel free to hit us up with your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now here's me sending you love and light. Until next time when we'll be vibing again together. Cheers. <laughs>